so I just got home from work and let's go see what we have here just around the corner under this big box well, in this big box we have a new inverter let's get rid of this tarps it appears to be in the way we've got a nice big box sitting right here for me can't wait to get this open so I'll put this inside and we'll have a looky Welcome back Trevors, so some big changes in the project coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, what I'll do is I'll first talk you through what I've currently got here. So this is the 5 kilowatt grid tie inverter from SolarX. Um, it's been working really well for the last um, year. I've got 4.8 kilowatts of solar, which is two strings of 10 panels, um, and it's been working really well. However, in the last month or so, or uh, well, the last two months, what it's been doing is it's been crashing once a day. Uh, for about 30 seconds it comes up with saying device error, it shuts down, turns back on again and about two minutes later it's all working fine and it does that uh, once a day. So what I did was I thought well that's a bit of a problem and I really should get on top of it just in case it kind of gets worse and worse um, as kind of things with electronics tend to do. Uh, and I thought I'd contact the guy that I got this from um, and I'll link his details down below and um, Get in, get in touch with him and find out what the situation is and um, what can be done to um, to rectify the issue. So he went obviously and contacted his um, contacts at SolarX and they offered me a complete uh, replacement to the very latest model which I think is the X1 Boost or their very latest 2016-2017 uh, model um, and they were going to ship that to me for obviously um, as part of the warranty which is really um, you know, which is fantastic, big thumbs up for SolarX for just doing that and um, you know, it's somewhat you'd expect that. Um, and I thought well, as part of, if I'm going to have to take it off the wall and replace it, um, yes it's fantastic to have a brand new, um, new uh, unit that's obviously a lot newer than this one, uh, even though this is only a year and a bit old. Um, changing to a hybrid inverter would be a, a, a great idea and even though I've got I did my project all out in the garage with the DIY power wall um, it's still having a, a hybrid inverter would be would be a great idea I did think about getting a hybrid inverter when I very first got solar but the costs um, to the, the cost difference between a standard grid tie inverter 5 kilowatt hour and a 5 kilowatt hour hybrid inverter um, that was quite a lot more expensive in fact it was over twice the price so um, what I did was I thought well I'll stay with just going a grid tie inverter with some solar panels and we'll start with that obviously a year down the track I did the DIY power wall and started that project and now um, with the opportunity um, to maybe look at getting the hybrid inverter I thought well it's at least worth me asking um, and it would mean a bit of change with my with changing the 48 volts but it's um, obviously a really good option. So what I did was I yeah, um, got into contact with him again and said, hey, is there an option for me to, to get the hybrid inverter? Uh, what will it take to, to make that happen? And um, he had some chats and came back and said, it can be done. So um, what I've got is I've got a hybrid inverter now. So the, what, what that really means is um, this was gonna come off the wall. I'll send this back to SolarX, which have been fantastic throughout the whole, um, well, throughout this little problem and um, put up the hybrid model. So um, let's go have a look and um, I'll show you through the, the, um, the new box and we'll go from there. So just bringing this in from outside, this is a nice big box compared to the other box. It's definitely a lot wider. And the model that I've got here is the SKSU 5000E. So this is the latest model in this um, hybrid inverter. So it's the um, SolarX X hybrid. So this model's got the built-in um, charger and inverter, which has got which is the 2.5 kilowatt one. So it's a 50 amp um, inverter charger, and it's also the E that's there uh, indicates that it is the that has the off-grid function. So that if there's no power at all, so that well there's no utility or no um, power, then it can run um, a set of appliances off a separate port in off-grid mode. So where most hybrid inverters, so when most grid time inverters, as soon as the grid goes down, um, obviously everything gets shut off. But this model here with the E on it kind of isolates that part and you can run a whole bunch of um, appliances off, or lights and other bits and pieces off um, when it's in um, off-grid mode. So it's got the flexibility of that as well, which is fantastic. So it's pretty much the spec'd out model um, and everything that I need going forwards. So what I'll do is I'll just um, open the box up and we'll have a look. So this is what the inverter looks like when it's unboxed. 
quite a nice big unit. It's not that it's not that um it doesn't stick out that far, which is quite slim, which is quite nice. And what we've got on to the left here, we've got the battery cable, which is the got the five gauge cable. We've got our back plate, we've got our bag of um, plugs and bits and pieces, we've got our CT clamp in the middle there, we've got our um, instruction manual, which I'm sure we might need. Um, mind you guys, we never use instruction manuals. Um, and we've also got the specs on the side. But what I'll do is I'll post the uh, PDF down the bottom, which makes it a bit easier to read. And apart from that, we've got our little LCD screen on the front. And it's not going to do much until we turn it on. So underneath, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just lift it up. We've got our two sets of uh, MC4 connectors on the side for our solar inputs. We've got our LAN cable, a whole bunch of COM cables or COM inputs. We've got our grid and we've got our EPS function. So that's the output for when we're running in off grid mode. So what it means is that the, when it's on EPS mode or off grid mode, whatever you've got connected to this plug here um, will run off batteries, and anything else obviously won't. We've got um, temp BMS um, for, um, you know, like if we connect to LG batteries or Panasonic batteries or any of those lithium ion batteries, that's where you plug it in and then you've got your big battery connector right there. So nice and clean on the bottom, um, we've got a little antenna for Wi-Fi. For me it's going to be pretty close to our Wi-Fi unit anyway so that's not going to matter but pretty flash. And it weighs about 30 kgs, 35 kgs, 36 on the box, but obviously out of the box it's a bit, little bit less. So I thought I'd just have a quick look. This is the side-by-side -side comparison between the, uh, the older X1 5 kilowatt and the hybrid 5 kilowatt hour. And you can see that the um, Hybrid is a bit slimmer, not by much, but um, yeah, it's obviously certainly a bit wider. Anyway, I uh, thought I'd quickly show you that and then uh, stick it on the wall. <laughs> 